Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Riata Horsemanship. I'm Luke Brown. I'm excited to be with you here today again on a beautiful day. Today is Training Tip Tuesday, and the horse I have behind me, this is Bubba. He is a Tennessee Walker. Um, I'm sorry, not Tennessee. He's a Missouri Fox Trotter uh, that's been with me for a couple weeks, and we've been working on refining some of his training. And one of the things that I'm doing right now is working on rope pressure, giving to rope pressure. And you can see behind me this rope that I have attached to him just above his hock. And I want to talk a little bit about what I do and kind of the transition of a uh, sequence of events that I, or sequence of actions that I use. Now he's starting to walk forward, so I'm going to give a little pressure there until he backs up. Little pressure. Let's see if I can get him to back towards me. Little pressure. Good. Little pressure. Good. Now, this is actually the third day I've been working on this with him. So the first day was kind of rough. Second day was quite a bit better. And today is, I just started on this leg. This is his left hind leg. Um, the reason I do this for Training Tip Tuesday, the reason I do this kind of training with ropes is because a lot of times horses will get in, in uh, they'll get stuck in something. They'll step in some wire. At some point in the horse's life, they're going to step in something that's going to get caught on their leg, and they're going to either freak out or they're going to give to that pressure. And the only most horses, the only horses that will give to that pressure are the horses that have been trained to give to that pressure. So horses that have been trained to hobble and horses that have been trained to give to pressure like rope on uh, like a rope on his legs now i'm doing the back legs first i also do the flank area so i take the rope around the flank and up around the loin and do pressure and release there i've got a little bit of pressure you can see that rope is nice and straight so a little bit of pressure i'm holding i'm just going to wait on him wait on him he started to back up i'm going to release that pressure now he's starting to turn towards me release the pressure i'm going to ask him to back a little more there he goes Okay, so the sequence is this. First of all, you got a horse needs to be comfortable enough with a rope around his leg. So I like to use the lead rope as a desensitizing tool when I'm first doing my desensitizing on the ground in the in the round pen. Usually I do the stick and string. I use the string to, to throw around his legs and make sure he's comfortable with the string around his legs. Then I go to the flag and then I eventually go to the lead rope and I'll throw that lead rope all over his body, including around his legs to make sure he's comfortable with that. And then if at some point, not all horses, I don't do this with all horses. Sometimes I don't have time to do this, but I, I love to do it. And with him, this is one of the things his owner want, wants me to do is get him used to hobbles. And part of that, I believe, is getting him used to le rope pressure on his hind legs as well. So if you were ever staked out, that they want to go on uh, on mountain trips and, and big, long camping trips with their horses. And so they need his, he needs to be able to hobble and, and probably stake out as well so on a nice long lead rope he needs to be able to uh, be comfortable with the rope around his legs when he feels some pressure because a, a horse that's a lot how we do it a lot of times in the mountains in Colorado is we attach a long lead rope like a you know 25 30 or plus lead rope to the horse's halter and then they walk around and they can graze and get some water and um, that at some point they're gonna they're gonna have their head down and they're gonna turn and their leg is gonna get kind of is gonna push against that rope and if they're not used to rope pressure on their legs like I'm teaching them here they can get some pretty severe rope burns if they're not because they're gonna try to get out of it and they're gonna get caught in the rope and pull themselves down and you know I've had uh, an accident one time where a horse almost uh, fell down and got caught between a couple trees on the side of a hill and and if I hadn't woken up and gone out and and saved him basically he would have he would have died in that situation so uh i like to do this when i'm in training early on to get a horse used to this the rope pressure on on their legs and hobbles we'll talk about later but this is the hind leg so i i, I take the rope and i make a loop at the end of the rope so that it's like a lariat a lariat has a loop at the end of the rope but it's a it's a it's a, a knotted loop that won't slide it do, or it doesn't tighten down it's a loop that doesn't tighten down. And then I put the rope through that loop. Let's see if I can get here a little bit closer and just show you. So I put the rope, the, the rope through that loop and that way when, when he does the right thing and gives to the pressure, then the pressure is released automatically because of that sliding loop. And if you have a, a loop that doesn't slide and tightens down, then you're going to end up tightening down on the horse's leg and they're not going to feel relief of pressure or release of pressure. And so that's important to do that. And then I start out by just asking him, usually it's laterally, asking, asking for him to turn laterally. Let's see if I can do this. 
So usually I'll go the other way first. This is around to the opposite side of where the, the rope is. But I just pick up on pressure and wait until he steps. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is I just want movement. Right now the movement is in the correct direction, but initially it's not gonna be in the correct direction. And so I'm just gonna ask him for any movement whatsoever. If he lifts his leg, I'm gonna release the pressure. If he moves a foot, any foot, whatever direction, it doesn't matter, I'm gonna release the pressure. So he starts to figure, figure out that the pressure goes away when he starts to move. And then I can start refining that teaching and ask him to move in the correct direction. And um, that's how it goes, and, and little by little, Hopefully I've got the camera in the right position here, but little by little you can ask him with very light pressure to move those legs, to move his hips around. And now he's giving to pressure. See this, I'm gonna ask him to come back this way. There he goes. Now I'm gonna stop him. Good, now back him up a little bit. See if I can get him to back away from the panel. So he's kind of fighting it right there. So I'm gonna hold that pressure, not, not hold it really tight. I'm not trying to manage his position. I'm just trying to keep pressure in the rope until he does the right thing, which is move into that pressure, or give to that pressure. And that's the start of it. That's how, that's how I do it here at Riata Horsemanship. And I, I use a, a soft rope. This is, I think, I think this is a half inch rope. I'd actually prefer probably a 9 16 or a 5 8 a rope so just a little bit bigger but you need a rope that's soft but also that the horse can feel the pressure and uh and that that hopefully won't burn the horse and i i put the i put the rope up above the hawk to make sure that that rope doesn't slide down plus if the horse kicks to the rope if it's above the hawk there's going to be very re little resistance from the rope when the horse kicks i can keep pressure on the rope and the horse can still kick and not get hurt because he's kicking below the rope uh, the direction of the rope pull i know that was a lot of information thrown at you just there and and we're gonna we have obviously more in-depth videos on this in the lady horse boss membership site on the riata horsemanship training videos hope you guys have a wonderful day until next time be thankful live with purpose live with passion and as always stay safe in the saddle